Coach, how do you feel your team changed during the offseason? There's always a recycling process that has to go on. How do you feel your team handled that? Um, we got bigger physically. Um, our guys, uh, we got Allison Papafuse and uh, as our strength and conditioning coach, and uh, she did an excellent job with them over the summer, getting them bigger, stronger. Uh, we finally look like men, how, how I expect us to look, and uh, it has changed our mentality. Uh, we, we came in with a different mentality, a different approach, um, uh, did more team bonding things, got the guys closer, closer with the coaching staff, and uh, I think that'll pay off in the end. You guys have had some turnover on that roster. Um, how has that maybe changed the dynamic of what you guys have as a team? Um, it always changes uh, things uh, when you lose, you know, guards and bigs. Uh, losing Derek Coke uh, really hurt us, you know, at, at some point. And, um, you know, we're, we're finding that guy to fill that spot that, that uh, um, the, just the different things that Derek brought to the team, you know, the different uh, qualities that he brought in. And, um, you know, we're, we're having guys right now filling that role. So, um, you know, that's where we are right now. But that was the one that hurt, you know, losing Roger Caldwell and Nellie Cummings is the same. You know, you always have to find someone to fill that role. And we have. We have guys that, um, you know, I think are able to replace what, what they brought to the table. And, you know, looking forward to seeing them in the game. What does it do to have couple seniors that have basically played for four years. I mean, uh, two guys, you know, guys with a lot of experience. How could that help? Um, it, it helps with the younger guys. Um, they're doing a great job of, of teaching the young guys. When I first came in, we didn't have that. So everyone was learning on the job. So we finally have that experience where guys can push the younger guys and teach them, you know, where to go, how hard we have to work. And um, that part is definitely paying off. That experience is paying off in practice. Um, we had a scrimmage yesterday, and, and the guys look really well out there. And so I'm excited to go against someone else for a change. We talked over the summer about the guys having to trust each other, trusting you guys. Have you seen that you know, throughout these last few weeks since you guys have got going? Yes, um, since the summer, actually. Um, it really started um, when we came back for uh, summer two session and um, the guys were ready, itching to go. And um, you see that cohesiveness already in the guys. They do things together. They hang out with each other more off the court. And, um, you know, I'm just hoping that the end results is, you know, us doing well on the court. What about practice as you excited for the season? What about practice? The way we compete. Every day is that's something we don't have to say. We don't have to force energy or any of that stuff. They bring it every day. So uh, that part has me excited. You know, we have to break up little mini fights here and there, but you know, that's a part of practice. Losing Caldwell and Cummings, I know you've obviously replaced those guys. How do you feel about the depth? That um, I, I think we're pretty good there. Um, bringing in Mike Laster and uh, Caleb Fields, those guys are coming in. And, um, you know, we didn't really miss a beat. And, and as far as practice is concerned, I thought the intensity has picked up on another level. But, you know, it, it's, it's practice. You still haven't seen them in a game situation. So i um, excited about that opportunity to see those guys in a couple of weeks to see what we look like under the real whistle. Are you comfortable? with this team's outside shooting? Is that where it needs to be at? Um, you can play a zone if you want to. So, uh, no, I think we can we can shoot it. We still can fill it up. We have uh, Dylan Fry's been shooting the ball extremely well, Justin Turner, Antoine Lillett. So we, we have enough shooting in Matisse Kulikovkis. And um, we have more than enough shooting. So I'm not worried about a team playing a zone. And we really only see zone that Easton is the only team that really plays zone for basically the whole game. How has Matisse come along since coming back from the knee? Um, getting comfortable, and, and that's, that's where he's been, you know, just trusting the knee that is, that is healthy and he's healed. And um, uh, he's been shooting the ball better and better each day. So I think as he gets more comfortable with uh, running up and down, getting hit, you know, getting bumped on the knee and it doesn't hurt, you know, now I think he's at that stage where he's much more comfortable and he's getting better each day. What kind of role do you envision for him? I mean, will he try to ease him in, I guess, as the season starts, or? Um, yeah, yeah, I guess, I don't know. We, we, that part is, you know, we're down the line in that. He will play, I can definitely tell you that. And, um, but I don't know 
how much, how little. You know, that stuff is earned, and he earned it. You know, the more he earns, the more he gets. You mentioned chemistry a couple times, Coach. How important is that? I don't remember you talking about that so much in years gone by, and I know last year didn't finish the way you wanted it to. You're, you're happy with the chemistry of this team, and how important is that to the success of this year? It's very important. Chemistry is, is pretty much everything you have in a team. You know, they have to be able to get along on the court. Uh, we only have one basketball, so we got to be able to share the ball. And uh, we've done a great job of doing that in practice. Um, the guys right now are, are holding each other accountable. It's not me anymore holding them accountable. They're holding themselves accountable. And I think that's, that's huge because I'm not out there playing with them. They're out there playing. And um, it, it's been great in practice. So I, all I can really tell you from is practice, the chemistry looks excellent. So i um, looking forward to going out there and playing a game. You think that's really important, not so much the physical aspect, but for the long range success of the sport? All of it. All of it is equally important. The physical part, you have to be uh, physical. You know, I mean, the team that has won is Buffalo, and they're very physical. So uh, we have to be able to match that intensity on those guys. And um, I think right now we have the physicality to do that. Now it's the, the mental toughness and the chemistry that we need. And I think we're, we're there, but we haven't played a game yet. I think when the, the preseason polls come out, you guys, I don't think you'll be one of the favorites to win the league. Where do, you th where do you think you guys will be? Where do you think you guys should be? Um, that I don't care about. You should know that by now in four years. <laughs> that may, I, I could care less where they pick us. Um, you know, it's all about playing the game. Each game is different. Each team is different. Um, you know, wherever they pick us is where they pick us. Um, you know, the, if they really knew what was going on, then we wouldn't play the games. We'll just listen to whatever the polls say right now. But um, like I said, that part doesn't matter, wherever they pick us.